So, uh, you, uh, just now, the green theory was about the color. Now we are talking about the pH, means the environment of this element in the body, in different parts of the body, and how the food is going to correspond to these organs. Like for example, if you swallow this certain food, okay, and then how is it being transformed into something else? Wow, it's amazing, right? That's the reason why you don't eat green and then come up green, right? That's the reason why, okay? All right, and of course, uh, there's one question. Are acidic foods harmful to health? Of course, for people who are health advocates, uh, very familiar with health, acidic food we know is bad. But before we even go further, I will help you to further understand what is the meaning of acidic or alkaline food. Because we have been hearing this all around. I will help you to break down. Huh? Okay. All right. Control, which is water. Okay. But you are talking about acid deficiency, and also acid supports to human. Oh, this is uh, a bit bizarre because I thought acid, all this while, it is being said it is something bad to the body. But let's take one simple example. Your stomach, does it produce hydrochloric acid? So does it serve a purpose? So if you don't have such acid in your body, do you think you can survive? Yeah, you can't even break down the protein because the protein is the main building block of one single cell. And more about lactic acid, when you run or you work out, you're so tired and then something sore building up. Oh, our body is so amazing. It means that, hey, you have reached a limit. Stop, take a rest. If you keep working on, if you don't have this lactic acid, you don't feel the fatigue. So this lactic acid is telling you to cut off from your physical activity in a longer run, for example. Okay, so this is uh, what I'm trying to say, acid supports to a human. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is the class, huh? talking about acid and bases. Okay, okay. so uh, acids and bases, I take one simple example. Uh -huh. um, H2O, water, correct? It is made out of positive and negative. So if you separate the H2O, if you separate something which is neutral, it becomes one part positive, which is acidic, one part negative, which is alkaline. When they are formed together, they create a stable state, which is neutral. So you don't have to know the exact thing. All you need to know is, uh, the scale of acidity, pH is 0 to 14. When people ask, speaking about pH, or oh, what's the maximum scale? At least you know it is 14. You don't have to memorize, but at least you know. And of course, the general characteristics of acid, okay, like taste, when I speak about acidic, so what's the taste that first comes in your mind? Sour. Yes, correct, sour. It's very familiar, actually, it's acidic. Alkaline? What about alkaline? Yes. yes, it's bitter. It's bitter. And of course, the texture of acidity is dry. If you try to use acidic, you know, dish washer to wash your hand, it becomes very dry to your skin. But the base, it will create a slippery feeling. Is that right? Okay. And of course, effects on the surface, on the object. For example, a car or a metal, acid. What does, it, what does acidic water or acidic rain does? Uh, what does uh, the acidic rain do to the car or corrode metal. metal? Correct. And of course, base none. And the items you can relate now. Uh, acid is battery. For the base is your soap. Okay. So these are just a general uh, information about the acidic and bases. Huh? Okay, now we move on to 
how the physiology of pH in the body is a little bit deep, but I will help you to lay down, okay, uh, into the layman terms, okay. Uh, different parts of the human body have different pH levels, even on in the skin, outside the skin, inside the skin. Within the digestive system, pH values range from extremely acidic to slightly alkaline. It's like after the food is being digested and being released from the stomach and enter into duodenum, which is small intestines, it becomes alkaline right away. Wow, you, your body is so powerful. Try to imagine from, uh, let's say, low stomach, 1.5, straight go to 7.4. Even though the scale is about six digits away, it takes your body a lot of effort to bring to this level. So your body is really amazing. It needs a lot of resources to do this kind of thing. So, and the different pH levels, you need to know if the pH is going out of order, they cannot work. Let's say if your saliva has become acidic. Why you can see some of the people, the tongue, they have oral trash. Oral trash means like you, you show the tongue, it's like you have a white coating layer on top of the tongue. It simply means that the pH of the tongue is already out of balance. So that's the reason why the fungus can grow on the tongue. This is one of the reasons. Ah, so you, this is one of the significant signs you can see for yourself. You can look at the mirror later. Okay. And of course, a pH level in the blood that exceeds these limits in either direction will drastically impair metabolic processes inside the body. Uh, like meaning, if let's say if something is happening to your stomach and it is not able to produce sufficient hydrochloric acid, your meat cannot be digested. So there must be a reason why. Like Ms. Shubhan has already mentioned, when something bad happens, when something wrong is happening, you need to look back 10 years ago. What have you done? What kind of diet have you been adopting? What kind of stressful lifestyle do you have been living? And maybe you have been sleeping late. That's the reason why you are having all these chronic problems. Yeah. So, you need to change. <laughs> And okay, now we speak about buffer. You don't have to know about what phosphates, ions, bicarbonate ions, uh, and also proteins. Uh, buffer means is a reservoir. Means is something that to hold something for a while. This is my additional note for you. <clears throat> I think it's clear for you, right? This picture. Imagine if I have something input and there's not no buffer. It's just go out, correct? So. This is what we call the buffer. It stores, it preserves with certain standards and certain laws in that buffer. Okay, your input into the body, which is your mouth. Makan. But remember what Ms. Shubha has already mentioned. No matter how much vegetables or how much green food you have been taking, will your blood become 8 or 9? Possible, right? Why? Because no matter how you put in the buffer, it will not change. We change, be affected by other things outside. Because when you have input, you have output. That's why the blood need to you need to survive in the blood environment 7.35. And how does it work? We always say, hey, the blood is 7.35 now, I'm in safe level. Okay, can you see? Who is clear for you? So you know the answer. Blood pH and now 7.35 to 7.45. But what about the pH in the cell? What about the pH outside the cell? It's all covered with fluids, you know. So your when your blood starts to turn into acidic mode, the, the fluid exchange will happen more drastically in order to make sure this blood is in healthy condition. So if you, are, you keep eating meat every day, in three meals, do you think 
you are actually causing a lot of biological stress to the body. Right? Even though you don't feel it, you don't see it, but your kidney and your lungs will be troubled because they anything that comes in pairs in your body have heavy duty work. A pair of kidneys, a pair of lungs, because if you don't get enough oxygen in your body, your blood sugar will become acidic. Kidneys is a filtration system. That's the reason why you always hear about CKD, chronic kidney disease. Because kidneys are being overloaded. And of course, we are beautifully being manufactured, you know. Sato Biji Rosa for the kidney. Can you survive? You still can live. You just need to be more careful. Lah. All right? So you just need to know this is your buffer in your body. And of course, don't forget, we have compensation plan. These two main workers work so hard, and yet my whole body environment is so acidic. What will happen? Your bone and muscle will do its work. Your calcium will be drained to balance the blood pH. That's the reason people with osteoporosis simply means that he is acidic and more prone to diseases. And also muscle wastage, lost weight, for example, because your muscles is the main thing for amino acids, for protein. That's why we call it protein breakdown. All right, okay, I hope this helps. And uh, and hiccups. And are you always constipated? Bloating. Or bloating? Okay. A uh, gassy stomach. And also sometimes you, uh, you have a lot of flatulence. Flatulence means uh, the tot lah. Okay. And it's really smelly. And <laughs> loose stools. Loose stools means there's no chanting in here. Means the pH of your colon is out. Always remember, your colon is your second brain. Always remember, if something wrong is going on, starting from the colon or intestinal region, more bad things will happen. So you need to take good care of your colon and also intestinal pH. Why? Because it is a home for probiotics. Or friendly bacteria. When the friendly bacteria is not there to jaga you, jaga the place, huh? not to look after, who will come in? The bad bacteria will come in. The good bacteria is to help the body to fend off the bad bacteria from coming in. Okay.